love Assassins. Probably because it has ass in it twice. I don't know. What up, nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to The Nerdy Narrative, a channel where I talk about all sorts of fun, bookish-related things in the science fiction, fantasy, and horror genres. If this is your first time to visit the channel, welcome. I am very glad that you stopped by to see what is happening in my corner of the world. If while you're here, you find yourself smiling, you are enjoying yourself, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a like on your way down to the comments to let me know that you are here. Today, I am going to share with you my August TBR. I have a lot of fun stuff going on this month. I'm really excited about it and I can't wait to share it with so, you. So let me get ahead of myself really fast and jump forward to the month of September. If you're a huge Star Wars fan and you haven't heard, Timothy Zane has a new book coming out that is released on September 1st. It's the Ascendancy Trilogy, the Thrawn Ascendancy. Book one is called Chaos Rising. It is available for pre-order right now. I have already placed my order. I will be reading this book along with two other channels, Brad Proctor and the Codex Cantina. I will create a channel for a book discussion regarding that. So if you are interested and you would like to join, here is your nudge to go ahead and get your book. We will probably be starting that in the first week of September or as soon as we all three get our copies. So if you've already got it pre-ordered or you want to slide a pre-order in so you can join us, please do so. We would love to have you. The more Star Wars nerds to join in this conversation, the better. So let's start with my most favorite read-along I have ever participated in. That is Storm Along 2020. We have now completed The Way of Kings. The final live stream was last night and we've now moved on to Words of Radiance, which is book two in the Stormlight Archives, if you're not familiar with the series. I'm extremely excited about it. One of my buddies, Tyler, is just about to die for me to read it and he has presented so many teasers about it that is literally driving me nuts. I am so pumped. I am going to do my absolute most best to stick to my reading plan, which is a certain number of pages per day. My goal is to not read any further than what the next live stream will be discussing so that I don't accidentally spoil something for someone who did have the willpower to hold back. So I'm gonna try, but Tyler told me when I, once I get to chapter six, it's all over. So it sounds like the Brando Lanch comes early in this one. Next on my list of excitement, I mean TBR, is Salem's Lot by Stephen King. I am really looking forward to continuing my journey through Stephen King's works. I have really loved what I've read so far. Y'all have heard me mention Brad Proctor a lot on this channel. He's a big time horror channel that I am just addicted to. We've become really good pals and this is his favorite Stephen King book. I had to put that high on my list of priority to read. I created a discussion channel for this particular book on the Nerdy Narrative Discord because I know I've got a couple of folks there that are gonna read it. If you wanna join us, the link to the Discord is down below and we're gonna kick this one off on August 1st. I don't have a reading schedule for it except to say read it at your comfortable pace. How we're gonna do the discussion is we're gonna put the chapter we're talking about out front and then use the spoiler symbols in order to type what we want to say. So you know if you haven't reached that chapter not to click on it so you don't accidentally get spoiled. So definitely that is open to anybody that wants to join. Come on down, we'd love to have you. I am going into this one completely blind. I only know that it involves vampires. That is the extent of my knowledge. I'm pretty positive it's gonna be the, the very first book that I pick up on August 1st along with Words of Radiance. The next one, I let my patrons choose for me. I was working on my August TBR and working out a TBR is a process because I would choose books and then I would change my mind the next day and then I would change my mind again. But I pretty much had it nailed down. I had space for one more book. And so I went up to my patrons and I was like, all right guys, here's a list of my physical TBR and they voted The Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I bought this book almost as soon as it came out. I've literally not watched a single video of any other booktuber who's read it that didn't love it and rave about it. And yet I've just let it sit on my shelf 
What is wrong with me? I don't know, but we're gonna fix that this month. I'm also gonna read Assassin's Apprentice, which I believe is the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. That is a buddy read that I'm doing with Michael Nip's channel. Robin Hobb is an author I've never read any of her work. I've heard so many good things about her. She's been on my list for a while because I've heard Angela from Literature Science Alliance mention her as well as Cassara from Cassara Reads. So I'm really stoked, especially to do it as a buddy read with Michael Knipp. Sneak on over to his channel and check him out. I'll link him down below to make it easy on you. I'm currently working on some goals for myself each month. I haven't quite gotten it nailed down just yet on how I want to do it, but I do know that I want to include a NetGalley arc each month. So the one that I chose for this month is The Conductors by Nicole Glover. It's scheduled to be released March 2nd, 2021. That's the day before my birthday, so that moved this one right up to the top of the list on my priority. Followed by, it just had a cover that looked super, super cool. From what I gather from reading the description, The Conductors is perhaps some witches that are involved in helping with the Underground Railroad. I just have to tell you, I love historical fiction. I enjoyed history growing up, learning about it in school, but I really love when you take real historical events and weave a really good fictional story about it. To me, that's a fun way to learn. Another one I'm really excited about the Last Town, which is the final book in the Wayward Pines trilogy by Blake Kraut. From what my buddy Michael Nip has told me, this is going to really, really knock my socks off. And so I need to hit up Kayla from Crack Into a Good Book, let her know I'm going to read this one in August. I don't know if she's read it yet, but we've buddy read the last two, so it just makes sense for us to finish it out together, see it through to the end, I'm really hoping that the pacing in this one matches the pacing in the first book, Pines, because if it does, man, I'm gonna eat this sucker up. Okay, it's time for the Book of Shame. I have one book from my July TBR that I didn't complete. It's totally my fault. I went through a slump. It took me too long to figure out how to get out of it and fix it. The one I did not get to is by indie author Tony Johnson. It's A Hero's Downfall, which is book one of his trilogy, The Story of Evil. This book has a high priority for the, for the month of August because I said I was gonna read it in July. I didn't get to it. I, I'm super stoked about this one. The premise is really cool. The cover is even better. So. Be looking to hear from me really soon on this one. If you've been around the channel for a few weeks, you are aware that Una from the Codex Cantina and I have been buddy reading the Inuasha manga. We're taking a break on that series for a bit and we're gonna jump into a different one. And since I picked Inuasha, Una got to pick this round and he gave me a couple options and the one we went with is One Piece by an author that I know I will never ever be able to say in a million years, so I will slide his name up on the screen for you. I was fortunate that my library carries the One Piece manga. So Una was like, get the first 30 and we'll get rolling on it. And they only let me get 20 at a time. But when I opened my front door, it was like Christmas in July because they individually packaged all of them. They came from different libraries in our county. I am really stoked. I was so upset when I ran out of Inuyasha manga and I couldn't get them at my library fast enough. So my mornings have not been quite the same without having a good manga to read to start my day and talk about with Una. While we're talking about the Codex Cantina, I also have been talking with Una about the fact that I have become so addicted to the Codex Cantina channel analysis and discussions, I have found myself wanting to delve into that form of literature. So Leo Tolstoy has been some of my favorite discussions they've had. I decided that was the author I wanted to start with. And I was kind of looking around at his works and I was like, you know, I really want to read Anna Karina. And he said, wait, 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 I recommend you read Too Dear and I want to hear what you think about it. So I am planning to read Two Deer by Leo Tolstoy and see if I enjoy reading this kind of literature as much as I like to hear Una and Crypto talk about it. Finally, I have decided to start working on my list of recommendations 
of comics that Christy from Lazy Owl has been talking about on her channel. So the one that I chose to start with is Something is Killing the Children. She has spoken about this particular comic in more than one of her videos. She's had a lot of very high praise for it. It's a horror comic, so I'm really excited about it. Kids are missing, there's monsters in the shadows, and we have a pretty badass looking monster killer that has joined the fray. So that that will conclude all of the books that I would like to read in the month of August. I am really excited about every single one of these books for one reason or another. A lot of them are ones I've been wanting to read for a while. Some simply because I'm getting to read them with friends just increases my enjoyment. All I got left is to ask you what you're planning to read for the month of August. Drop your list to me in the comments below or come visit the Nerdy Narrative Discord channel and share it with the group. Have a fantastic rest of your day guys. I love you so much. I'll see you soon.